All right, let's quickly get into our predictions. Final roster predictions. May, yes or no? We know it's no because Dave, or we assume it's no. Dave, Dustin Timberlake, it's not going to be May. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Blake Trinan, yes or no? You think he's on? Yes. All right. Chris Taylor, yes or no? Yes. Hanser Alberto or Miguel Vargas? Based on what we heard today, I'm saying no. So, so Miggy. So Miggy. Miggy. All right, there it is. Starting lineup prediction. Give me your one through nine real quick. It my one through nine. This is this is gonna be prediction. And guys, uh, also drop right now your final series predictions. We'll probably go through this again tomorrow, or you know, if, if you're listening to it today on the on the pregame show. So make sure you tune in an hour before first pitch. So here we got mine. I've got Mookie Betts starting in right field. Trey Turner starting at short. Freddie Freeman at first. Will <laughs> Smith at catcher. Max Muncie at DH. Justin Turner in the sixth hole. At third, we got Trace Thompson starting in left, and then they got Cody Bellinger in center, and then Gavin Lux, bottom of the order, turning it over like he did last year in the NLDS. So that's my one through nine. I like it. I would run that. I think they flip Cody and Lux. I think Lux is at the bottom, and I think it's going to be CT over Trace because, again, Dave's guy. <laughs> this is going to be the fun one. This we got Lux one. at the bottom? Uh, I got Lux. No. At the- no, you had Lux betting eight. I got him ninth. I yeah, yeah. It. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I you, oh you think CT? So I have, I, no, I have belly batting last. Nine. Okay. And okay. then, and then uh, it will be CT instead of Trace. Okay. Well, and this is what I want. Yeah, I know. That's what you want. I'm doing yeah. predictions of what oh. I assume they're going to okay. run with. Oh, okay. There's, there's, no, there's no right or wrong answers here. Just saying. Give us your final series prediction. Best of five. What are you thinking? I've gone back and forth on this one. Last night, he of the moment, the success of the Padres, I thought was going to be a dogfight, a back alley brawl between little brother and big brother. But when you look at the rest, we look at the advantage that they ha- they could face Mike Clevenger in game one. I think this Dodger team wants to send a message. I think it's going to be the sweep Diego Padres. I'm going Dodgers in three. I know that's bull. I know everyone out there, Sonic the Hedgehog, saying Dodgers in four. But to me, it's either a three-game series or a five Five game series. I like the Dodgers advancing. And look, this is failure is not an option. Apollo 13. This is Ed Harris's quote. Failure is not an option. If you're the Dodgers, you're either the champs or the chumps, because you remember every single year, whoever the Dodgers lose to, what do they do? They go on to win the World Series. So if you lose to this Padres team, you could look at a franchise and a fan base that could say, hey, we knocked off the 111 win Dodgers as an 89 win team. They have to win. I don't want to hear anything about how the baseball postseason is a crapshoot. You have to win this series it's a legacy series for everyone that's on the roster Dodgers you cannot blow this like I said either they'll be the champs or the chumps they'll either be the 2001 Mariners or the 98 Yankees and I think this team is more 98 Yankees than it is 2001 Mariners you guys heard all that I'm fired up man I I cannot I can I'm done I'm gonna be that Toronto Blue Jays fan that says I can never watch baseball again if the Dodgers lose this series I'll retire I don't, I, I don't ball, know. Cricket, whatever. It, it, it just would be so damn hard to come back from that. My prediction, I do think this series ends up going five games. I think that the pods just have some good vibes going. Yeah. Dodgers are going to take it three, two, but it, it's, it's going to be a bloodbath, man. Again, the Padres have been building this team to specifically beat this Dodgers team for the last like three years, they've been curating a club and sure they don't have Nando, but they, they have some bodies. They have quality enough starting pitching. They went out and got themselves a closer. They feel good about, and they have one of the better young sluggers in the game and, and with uh, Juan Soto and a, and a, uh, a legitimate, um, you know, finally came into his own and became a leader, Manny Machado. There's a lot of good things to like about it, but uh, the outfield is really going to hold the key to the success of this team. But uh, Dodgers are going to are going to win it. It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath. Really hoping it's a sweep, but I just uh, you know, yeah. My brain says five games. My body, but my body and oh, can't sustain that guy anymore. <laughs> Uh, uh, my, don't cancel me. my heart says my heart says three games. And I think Tyler Anderson goes out there, shoves in game three. I think Trace Thompson gets a big home run. 
Look at this guy. He's I'm just gotta, trying to manifest. He's, he's got to change I'm trying to everything. Manifest. I'm trying to manifest, man. But no, look, I think that it's going to be a competitive series, but I still think that we've seen series that are competitive. Look at 2020. That still was a competitive series until game three that the Dodgers ended up sweeping. I think that the depth of the Dodgers bullpen, the rest – the depth of their lineup. I trust that this, this team realizes the significance of this series because you will not only go down as the team that set a franchise record with 111 wins, you ha would have lost to the Padres. Also, look at the success the Dodgers have had against the NOS in the postseason. Game 163, yeah. the Diamondbacks in 2017, the Padres, the Giants last season. The Went five. It went five. Yeah. Look, Clint, <laughs> trust me, there's I, I would not be shocked or surprised at all whatsoever if this series goes five because of, like you said, how hot the Padres are. But like I said, the, the pitching advantage is what I focus on the most. And look, th this, this is going to be a rocking Dodger Stadium crowd. It's going to be electric at the, the ravine. home field it's advantage. Shake. Absolutely. Plays five home up. games. No matter what. You brought it back. You brought it back. I'm scared. You got me. You got me all scared. This is going five games now. I'm gonna you, have to call my doctor. It's all good. If we go five games, you know what? This means we have to work harder and longer. So That's guys, true. More sure money. Go five games, bro. It's all about make that sure bread. You subscribe. No, your boy. Your boy wants a break. It's my birthday next week. If they're playing on Monday, I'm gonna be mad. Is that? I think that would be game five, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's only one off day, so it's three consecutive days, and you're okay, off we'll Monday. To, yeah, you. <laughs> No, but uh, let's, should we get some of these predictions out? What are your predictions? Let us know down below. I love this, by the way. Alberto Rodriguez win for Vin. Yeah, on top of everything yeah. else, Vin Scully. Got to give him that win. I think five games from Devon. We've got, I think, five games from yeah. Devon. I just read the same comment twice. Um, we it's got. Too high. <laughs> we got uh, Dodgers in four after going down 1-0. Boomer Sasson, I think that it, that's so much. Boomer Sasson's a guy who watches this team. Because that's the most Dodger thing ever. If they dropped the first game and then went on to win three straight. But yeah, if you're this Dodgers team, if the Padres are able to come in here and split those first two games, you're really looking at a coin flip series when you look at it. So you got to take care of business at home. This Dodger team, they have been working this entire year for this moment. The postseason is here. And this team, I think, is ready for a magical run. I really do. You just got to win one game at a time. This is a Dodger team that is the best built we've ever seen to not let any moment get to them. You just keep on playing. You just keep on trucking. And uh, you feel real good. Guys, this is going to be our Hornito's last question or final question of the stream because I didn't really have a thought, so I made it a question. Okay, game five is on Sunday. Game five is on Sunday. If, Hell yeah. So we're good. If, if they were good, 05. Dodgers a four. Thank you, producer Cody. Nice sweet. Being the creepy No, what do you got? What's your prediction? Dod sweet. Dodgers in three. Sweet Noah. club. There sweet. we go. I, I say. What do you got? Yeah. Manny Machado, Avocado, Chevrolet Silverado, Dodgers in four. Yes. All of those are sponsors, by the way. So Guys, who's going to record the final out in this series of the Dodgers win? Who's going who's gonna to be on the bump? Tommy Conley. Tommy Conley. You know, Tommy I'm going. Tommy Conley. Probably gonna be it's gonna be weird. I think I think game five ends up being a blowout. I'm going David Price because why not? DP, we love DP. <laughs> Some of us do.